Welcome friends to a quick video about the Nerdware modified A2000 RTX card. The reason I'm making this video is that you might want to watch in 4K60 what the modified card looks like instead of watching a guy's face. A lot of you YouTubers, I get to see too much of your face instead of the tech. So what is my initial um, impression of this? I didn't do the modification myself. I bought it from a guy that um, is a computer enthusiast. It was upgrading and um, asked him a few questions. So the kit that he bought, uh, it came with a PTM uh, 7, 7950 pad. And um, see how much thicker that is without that? This is the RTX 12 gigabyte version. Uh, 12 gigabytes, RTX A2000 12 gigabytes. And um, I guess it was made in 2019 or not sure. So this is the original heatsink that it came with. So apparently it was like this maybe, I'm guessing. Uh, and now it's nice and slim. So let's give you some uh, sizes. I'm gonna give it to you guys in uh, centimeters because that's more international because you know, we're international here. Uh, so that's 20 millimeters high. So that's 20 millimeters high. And the length of it is uh, about 16, 16.6 centimeters. And with this, with this little edge thing, let's see, that's about 18. So 18 centimeters by, and the height over here is, six, 6 6.7, 6 6.8, something like that, 6.7, 6.8. So basically we're talking about a uh, two centimeter height and it used to be three, oh, like three and a quarter, three point, uh, three point twenty-five centimeters. So this seller over here was very gracious. Uh, I told him um, this card found a great new home. This is going inside the MS01 with the thirteen nine hundred H processor. And uh, what I'm liking the idea. So I was looking at the low profile 3050. And then I was able to see this guy. This guy had a few of these units. He sold out very quickly. He gave me a really good price. I was really appreciative of it. He knocked off like $25, $30. Uh, his listing price was like $450. So I'm happy like all in. I'm like $435 on this unit. Um, considering the nerdware, uh, the little kit is probably $80 by itself. The little fan shroud to modify it. And that nerdware shroud, see that little copper thing? That's definitely not free. Uh, it comes with all the pads, it looks like. The PTM 7950. Oh, that's a beautiful card. What it also feels like in hand, this card... It feels very, very heavy. Perhaps I should even wait for you guys. So this way you guys get the weight, the measurements. So if you're trying to put it in your MS-01, uh, that you would know uh, perhaps by me having the measurements for this guy that fits well into the MS-01. And he had his in his MS-01. Um, by being able to fit into the MS-01, you might be able to uh, figure out a card that works for you for that. And the reason why also I like the idea of the uh, Quadro cards, the, the, the A2000 instead of the RTX cards, is because I think the Quadro ones, the business ones, whatever, the professional ones, they don't have a limitation to the amount of streams that could be encoded. So now let's uh, get the scale out and let's weigh it out. So it weighs 392.92, almost 400 grams, almost a pound with this shroud. So I don't know if they have the information online, but 
you know, I'm just trying to give you guys as much information too in case you're doing some modifications and you're trying to see which uh, video card would fit for you. And I figured you guys might like the technology as much as I did. So now let's just put it in the MSO01 and see how it fits in there well. These feet just keep coming apart, that's fine. I do like this design over here. The tool is designed to be able to pull things off. So I did have another video card in here. I had, uh, I think it was an AMD card. What's, it, what, what's the cheap, uh, the little tiny AMD card that it's this tiny on it or something? Um, this is a pretty straightforward installation over here. I just figured you guys might like to see it too. So that's why we're doing this upgrade together. So. It's actually really fun uh, getting tech and then sharing it with the world. Um, the experience of getting it. Because I'm sure you guys are probably thinking about doing this. Do you guys have the MS-01? I actually wound up picking up a second one. Uh, this is with the 13900H. So one of the things that I didn't like about it, about this mini PC, is that the 13900H processor is super power hungry and the fan blows really hard. And then I was watching actually Linus Tech Tips and I forget which one, the one they keep making fun of all the time, um, anyways, I forget which guy it is, but what he mentioned was, uh, that if you, you can change the paste, uh, on the processor to PTM 7950, which I think I might want to do. Should I do it in this video or should I do it in another video? Okay. So how did this go? Okay. So let's. Look at this video card in all its glory. The Nerdware guys did a great job. Now, if they only started selling this kit conversion on Amazon and just charging more, charging like $150, uh, they could probably sell more and probably get it cheaper. But, you know, I'm sure manufacturing with China nowadays is probably tough. So let's see how this fits in here. So this guy just goes like this. I do like that it has the PTM7950. So watch my video with the PTM7950. It's a thermal paste. This pin I think looks okay. What do you guys think? This last pin over here. That looks fine. It should work. I just got it down on video. Just in case. But I'm definitely about to leave this guy a positive review because wow. You know, it he did a lot of work making this. So this card right now on Amazon new is retailing for about 600. So it does have the power of a 3050 Ti. But the benefit of this card is that it doesn't require a secondary power plug. So it's going to it can pull the 60, 70 watts directly from the PCI. Um, and probably Mini's forum should have actually been doing this, should have just been getting the A2000 or the A4000 and including it in the kit and just charging people a little bit more for it. So I guess this guy goes back in here, uh, this little clip guy. Yeah, but I got to hand it to Minis Forum for making... Oh, I don't think it's fully seated all the way. You see this, guys? It doesn't look straight to me. <sighs> Am I missing something here? Am I missing something here? <sighs> okay. Let's look over here. Well, there's really nothing I could do about that. Let's just see. 
right? We're just going straight like this. Oh. Now that looks more straight. Okay. This mechanism is kind of interesting. So you're supposed to like just put it back in, right? And then if you have small hands like Linus does, then it's okay. But if you're like everybody else, like everybody else that works for Linus, including the women, <laughs> probably have big hands. Oh, but that's nice. That's cool. And then you got to make sure to put the little tiny screw back in. What do you guys think? Should I pop this cooler off and... Um, Get some PTM 7950 on there while I'm here or not. Or save that for another day. Huh. Maybe we should also test fit how we could fit an 8 terabyte drive in here. That might, that might be a nice upgrade to this computer, too. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, your little tiny mini display ports. So, out of all the mini PCs, this guy is clearly, hands down, the winner. Um, I'm, I'm not going to make this video too long because I think it, it would be a really good uh, secondary video to upgrade the SSD on this computer and also upgrade the CPU cooler stuff to the PTM 7950 and this upgrade to the E2000 is going to be this video so this way we're not too long you got to watch it and um so this way we're doing one step at a time like I put the card in I boot it I make sure everything works so that we're not changing too many variables uh all at the same time like put your comments down below should you be like changing everything around or not. I guess you guys just saw my serial number. I guess which is okay. So I, I got handed to this PC. Um, I like it better that, than the MS882 because of the two USB 4 ports. I this is this is a really nice thing. I don't understand why the MS82 for, it's between $600 and $800 right now, like pre-order. Yes, they put the SFP Plus ports, but what they're missing is the lower power, uh, like 6-core, 12-thread, or 8-core, 16-thread processors from Ryzen, which maybe somebody doesn't want. Maybe somebody doesn't want the workstation processor, like 16-cores, 32-threads, because that takes up a lot of processing power. Um if you're using it as a NAS, chances are you might want the MS-01 with the 12600H. Because the 13900H is a really powerful processor. But with the 12600H, you get 80 to 90% of the benefits, including, I guess, the USB 4s. The, these ports, pretty much the same computer, but with a lower TDP chip so that the fan would spin less but maybe if you upgrade the to the ptm 7950 i guess it comes down to you guys are put your comments down below are you watching the power levels of your computer how much they're taking like how are you running your pc this is a stupid design with these feet uh this thing i just lost a second foot uh it's not really staying grippy i'm probably gonna do a modification I have these little uh, squares, these with, with little sticky part on it. I think I'm gonna take out the, this guys and put those instead because this is retarded. Like, come on. Uh, I think MS uh, A2 with the Ryzen processor doesn't ha has doesn't have that. So also, I was able to pick up the 12600H a refurb unit. So I was like thinking like this unit is so cool. I want to have a second one and see what one power-wise competes against the other. The 13900H versus the 12600H. The i5 versus the i9. So, I'm just thinking, if you're, if you're running a server 24-7 
and you're trying to run an operation like Nextcloud on it, you want to actually use the least amount of power. So tell me what you guys think. Also, I have it running from DC power, directly from a 12 volt battery with a power converter. So it uh, takes 12 volt power and converts it to the 19 volts. I'm actually pushing like 19.5 volts and it's running fine. Um, anyways, put your comments down below. See you in the next one. And I'll link you to Amazon affiliate links if you were buying one anyway. I appreciate you using it. And if you bought anything, I, I might get a kickback. Either way, I appreciate it either way. Uh, thanks for coming by. I'll see you in the next one. And I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye. So uh, I am remotely connected via Windows Remote Desktop from a computer in my room. And did it crash? So this is the score I got. I got... 40 frames a second and max temperature reached 78 and now about 2 minutes 46 minutes in it's at 90 celsius and it did drop down the average to 33 so it looks like it's running i'm gonna see i'm gonna let it run for 10 minutes and uh give this guy a nice positive feedback what i do like is that it's drawing only 69 watts. That's nice.